This is Twit. They announced a new Nest Hub that will watch you sleeping. I'm very curious what you'll think of that. I have many thoughts. I, I did briefings on it, and I'll get a review unit when okay. the time comes. But so you're the right you person start. to ask. I, I saw you okay. tweeted tweeted out to um, the community about this, and my response, as well as a, a bunch of other folks, was, isn't this already happening, um, whether it's through Fitbit or just the other devices that are out there? That's why I didn't so, order yeah. one. You can order it March 25th. The nice thing about this little Nest Hub, by the way, there's one right next to me when I'm sleeping. It doesn't have a camera, uh, but it does have Soli, right? And and that's how it's going to do the sleep tracking, which is that radar implementation. It's going to use two things. It'll use Soli and the microphone. So it'll measure your uh, snores and coughing. And then it uses Soli to measure your respiration. Oh, well, it's and not going to analyze all that. It's not going to work. How about your movement? Does it does it measure that too, Stacey? So it is. It's so it's measuring the movement of your chest respiration. Wow. But, the, but if you, if you, if you roll around a lot and does you it will that? calibrate. So when you and this is important, when you opt in, you'll calibrate it by lying on your bed and you'll set it there. It'll be like, turn me this way, turn me that way. All right, lay here. And it's a one person to one device thing. So if you're if you sleep with someone, it's only going to track you in your chunk of the bed, and they get no tracking. Um, they say it works via even when you have a CPAP or if there are animals who sleep on your bed, um, all kinds of things. So, but Aunt asks but a, good, it is, a good question, which is why do we need this when we all have 800 other ways of monitoring our sleep tracking? You don't have to wear anything. Right, I do you like that. Yeah, you don't have to wear like a Fitbit. You don't have to charge it. I mean. I have a thing under a-, a Sleep a, score. A, a paddle, yeah, it's from Serta under my uh, mattress, in between my mattress and box spring. And there's two of them, one for me and one from whoever's sleeping with me at the time. And <laughs> it's always my wife. And, Wait a uh, and <laughs> I have a funny story about one of those, but yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, and then it actually, I, I don't know how it does it because it's going through the mattress, but it seems to do very well. And then just kind of keeping it honest, I wear this Aura ring, which also does the same thing. I should wear my Apple Watch one night and see if they all confer they, they sync up that would be interesting yeah yeah I'm a lot of people don't have sleep score oh. i think it was sleep score for uh hands-on wellness and it was just a little device that sat off to the side and it uses the, the different laser beams firing out and it seemed pretty consistent when i tested it up with like um the Wyden smart what is it Wyden smart band uh some other smart they, band, they did they have a watch pretty, yeah, but they were they were both pretty consistent on what their readings were, and and I find it more convenient to not have to wear something at night. Well, that's why I like uh, this Serta. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, when I got it, it was six. But not bucks. everybody wants to buy a new bed, and Apple bought a company called no, Bed. The, this isn't path. a bed. No, no, oh, no, no. This wasn't a bed. This is just a, a, a Nor is plastic the sleep tracker puck it, thing. Yeah. It was about four inches tall, plugged in with the USB C cable, and it just sat over there at the corner of the bed, just like what Google says they're doing with Nest. Um, same technology. Yeah, so this will compete Ish. with that. No, he said lasers. Radar and lasers are Laser. different. Well, yeah, but radar. Sorry, it's not lasers. Oh, I was yeah, like, lasers I'm like, would be a little hard to pew, sleep. Pew. <laughs> only, only Elton John sleeps with lasers. It's so. Uh, what else did they tell you about this solely based um, device? It will have thread. And why will it have thread? Because oh, one day we're going to learn more about Project Chip, but not today. Thread is it's, it's, it's home automation uh, radio. Thread system. is a yeah, it's a radio protocol for home networking or smart home devices. Right. Apple has Thread in the new HomePod Mini. Um, you're oh, going to really? start seeing it in more places. Yeah, <laughs> and if you've got the HomePod Minis yeah. and the Nano Leaf Essential light bulbs, yeah, that Thread connection it is so fast it is a oh, really nice that's one thing a lot of people complain about i do the lag between saying hey hey shlomo turn out the lights and the time it actually turns out the lights is a few seconds and i usually hover in the hall because i'm doing it as i go to bed to make sure that they get turned <laughs> off before i go to bed and i don't like that hovering i would like to just instantly Gee, you could turn off the switch and it would just happen i know it's a I not sold on the whole home automation thing. I'm sorry, Stacy. I apologize. It, it's okay. So you know, course. I'm not 100% sold either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Mike they got to do better. Micah Sargent in the chat room, he's saying, Stacy and I always get jazzed about thread. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so I have on my bedside table, I have way too many devices. I have the current Nest Hub. So I was thinking of replacing it, but then I realized, but I also have the sleep tracker. I have my ring and I have the uh, AirPod Mini there too. Uh, I'm sure there's some other devices I've forgotten. All right by my head, so I'm sure they're all. But you don't want to keep your cell giving phone. Giving me in cancer. There. Oh, the cell phones there, both of them. I I'm wondering how the ultra wideband in the HomePod would react with the radar from Soli. Yeah. Would there be interference? I need to check their what their. Might be too much stuff using. in there. <laughs> I'm That's sure it's not good for me. Oh. Is your is your bedside table metal? Because I no. realized my husband's bedside table is metal. Is that a problem? That's. Well, yeah, metal and wireless frequencies. Yeah, but he's a higher oh. up than the table is. It, it just means that if you were under the well, table, yeah. that wouldn't work. Well, yes, but it's, <laughs> you know, like it's just another thing you got to think about. Well, I, you know, it's, I'm glad I don't have a metal mattress because otherwise the sleep tracker wouldn't work either. So actually, you know, there probably is metal in the mattress. There's springs, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is it a Tempur-Pedic mm, or is well, it a spring? Well, old fashioned spring. Not. Or a spring. Probably it's a, not if you're on Casper or something. Casper has springs. The one we, I think the one we have has springs. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Really? Only, only one of their mattresses. <laughs> it's the mattress for fat boys because <laughs> the like the other mattresses, like the rubber, the foam ones, when you get out of bed, you it, it, the bed gets out of you. It rolls you out because as soon as you get close to the edge, it collapses and you go, ah! Right. So right. the the one we have has an edge so that I can get out of bed. Otherwise, I, I, I lie there on my back like a turtle <laughs> going, help me, honey, get me out of bed. So Did that's, it come in the little box like the other mattress or did it come in a big box? Oh, no, it comes in a box. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so I, I actually remember. saw a story yeah. about, about this, of course, that used the headline, Surveillance. Well, it is. It's surveilling well, your sleeping. All trackers are it, surveilling. You're asking it's supposed it to, to right? Isn't that his job? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. It is. Calm well, down, so people. there. Well, okay. No, let's let's talk about this like rational people. At least it doesn't have a camera. Google. It doesn't have a camera. Although I would say, I mean, radar does track your motions. So yeah. if you think about radar, you could totally tell what someone's doing. Plus. For sleep tracking, it's going to be listening for snoring and things like that. So all the data is processed locally on the device. You have to opt in. There is a visual indicator when that system is turned on. And you oh. can delete things verbally and in the Good. app. So you can be like, delete yeah. last night's sleep. So those are that's what Google's done. But what I will say is saying that you should feel comfortable because there's not a camera in there is a little bit of a... It's not a red herring. What is it? It's just a, like a diversion in the sense that radar is very, could be very effective at telling you exactly, what, not exactly. Actually, yeah, exactly what you're doing. It's fine. Great but radar. I think what yeah. people are worried about with the camera is that it's going to see you naked or something. Radar. Yeah, well, it can see the outline of you and what you're doing. Oh. And mm, yeah. Never mind. I mean. Not that. So what, are they, what are they going to do? I mean. I don't know what people, I don't honestly know why people are worried about a camera in the bedroom. Well, and again, all that data, just the results are sent to the cloud. All of that data yeah. is processed I'll give you, on the I'll device. I'll give you something to worry about. Oh, it's uh, processed on the worry. device. What gets sent to the it, cloud? Anything? The, the like. The results. You, your REM sleep was this. Right. You slept this Good. long. Good. So it's doing it all you in the more like a train. It's amazing they could do this for a hundred <laughs> bucks. And by the way, the screen is great. I really like having a Nest Hub in the bedroom. I can watch, you can actually, I could say. Because I have YouTube TV, I could say, let's watch uh, CNN. And it's got a little screen on my bedside table or or watch the ball game when the football games were on. I would have that going. That's kind of nice. And uh, music. And yeah, I mean, I really like the Nest Hub. It's kind of amazing what they could do for 100 bucks. So it, the fear of the camera, yeah. I think, is... Pictures. Um, well, it's it's former New Yorker writer. Um, and, and uh, so the other, the other morning I was, I, I wait a minute, what a, it's former New Yorker writer. What's his name? Uh, who got in trouble for, Oh, Jeffrey Tubin. Yeah. Thank you, Jeffrey Tubin. Uh, no, um, that, that wouldn't be so good. well, but the other day I was, I was watching an Australian academic conference and it was on zoom and I was in bed cause it was Australian time. So as soon as I woke up, I turned it on, but I was in bed and I'm, I was paranoid. Yeah, too the many first cameras. time in my life, I was paranoid about making mm -hmm. sure the camera was off. Yeah. Right. I understand that. 
I understand. So that. it's more about accidents, I think. Now, I'm not crazy about a sleep tracker that uses my noises <laughs> to, to like my, my, my mouth noises. As long as it doesn't play it back to you. Well, oh, I, I, I see. Been, I've been, oh. No, 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 no. You've got the, oh. you're, get your mind out of the gutter. I tape my mouth shut. So I, I don't. <laughs> I'm giving you a oh, very I'm weird really. picture. I am giving oh, you oh. a very weird <laughs> picture of my <laughs> bedtime habits. Wish for this. That, no, that, it's that was true. the wrong time to take a drink of water, <laughs> man. <laughs> I so I read this book. It's a good book. You probably read it, Stacy, because you're up on all this stuff called Breath, right? By uh, James Nestor. Have you read that yet? It's I all haven't. the rage. Everybody's but talking okay. about it. It's how we don't breathe right, and mostly you should never breathe through your mouth. And one of the things he recommends, because when you're asleep, you can't. Your mouth falls, uh, 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 you breathe through your mouth. One of the things he recommends is you take a little bit of 3M surgical, micropore surgical tape, and you just put it right here and your mouth closed. And Can it's we amazing. ask you to do that certain times on the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh During the Facebook segment. <laughs> <laughs> Notice, I don't bring no, that's Facebook what we'll do up both anymore. Of them. <laughs> this is a chilling effect because I don't bring up Facebook on this show anymore. And you're fine talking about Facebook. Just don't call me the devil. That's all. That's all. That's all I ask. Okay, so you tape your mouth shut, and you're worried because it sounds weird when you're snoring. No, there are no sounds anymore. Shut? Lisa oh. says okay. it's like there's nobody in bed with her anymore. She's like sleeping with a mime. I don't know what the hell sounds I was making. <laughs> but it, it silences all that. And you just breathe through your... The whole point really is that you breathe through your nose. Which you should I be doing all the time. I so hard. Huh? So I'm like, even when I'm sleeping, I'm like... Arr! So my mouth is shut. Yeah, I used to have a mouth guard. Oh, you have uh, a guard? I, I, yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. Your I mouth bar's too. good. Uh, you can do this with a mouth now. guard. That way you'll neither grind nor snore. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll try it out. Hey, chat room, this is what you talk about when you get old. You got to I wonder if gaffer's tape will work. No. Well, he <laughs> recommend. he said painter's tape is okay. There are people who do it with duct tape. I think that's too sticky. He recommends 3M. Ooh, I have yeah. an extra roll. I bought a, a dozen. Uh, he, I'll bring it in. He recommends 3M <laughs> micropore surgical tape. To Nestor, the guy who wrote this book, Breathe. If you have a red breeze... Or breath. It's not breath, breathe, it's breath. If you've not read breath, I highly recommend What does he say breath. if you have a beard or a mustache? Well, don't do it. You don't have to do this. It's, that's not the whole point well, of the book. You know, my problem is my CPAP. So yeah. Because the, the CPAP is... Oh, this will work with the CPAP, the by the way, Jeff. Oh, it will. The, the oh, Google good. thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. So breath. The New nose. Science of a Lost Art. It's a very sorry, good book. Whoops. I highly recommend it, Stacey. It's enjoyable. Right. It's fun. And... You'll learn how to breathe properly, which apparently we oh, don't excellent. know how to do. We breathe through our mouth. Is it Notice diaphragm breathing? Read it. It's because we eat me. too much soft food nowadays. Did you know this from the book? That uh, ancient <laughs> ancient skulls, perfect teeth, not, uh, uh, perfect sinuses, they don't have any of the issues, mouth uh, tooth crowding or anything, because of the diet, they, they think. And then, but yeah, now in the modern soft sick. food diet, we all need orthodontia. Oh my God. Soft foods. What are they talking about? I ate a salad last night. It took me like 30 minutes. God. Compared with what the so Cro-Magnon ate. A salad is soft food. Grinding rocks? Yeah. They're gnawing <laughs> on bones. <laughs> like B Bison uh, legs. This course Raw looks delicious. Bison legs. They may have died at the age of 30, but they had perfect teeth. <laughs> That's Excellent. the difference. Stacey, I, I got a question for you. Yes, Could, sir. Could uh, this device sense cardiac arrest? Um, theoretically, if you stopped breathing, yes. I mean, it's not tracking your heart rate. It would have to, but again, all of this, you train it, right? So it's, this is just the radar. So if you trained it to look for cardiac arrest, maybe, but- I don't know. I, I mean, wouldn't. That'd be interesting. Google's not advertising this for SIDS or anything. Yeah. Well, that's mm -hmm. interesting too. But if it called off to nine one one, it wouldn't, probably wouldn't come in time. <laughs> All right. That's the thing. I it's also don't think you want an automated device that says he's not breathing and calls nine one one. Well, I'd rather that yeah. than the I mean, alternative. It, I guess. What if it just did a siren to wake you up? <laughs> 
This yeah. might be. I mean, I, mean, cause I have devices. Cause I mean, we all have devices we wear to bed. I wear this ring to bed. It would know if my heart stopped. But I don't think that they've set it. I know they haven't set it up to well, why call, not? call 911. That's what I'm wondering. Why not? I don't know. Oh, because they have to, because you have to be really sure. Yeah, you like don't. You don't, 99 you don't want false sure. heart attack alarms. That really, yeah, it's not good. I wear. And if you're in the, the weird. Um, pulse oximeter every night. Do you? All right. So yep. you know where your blood oxygen is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you, th I mean, are you worried about your blood oxygen level? Well, or you just I wanted, well, yeah, if you're, if you're on a CPAP, yes. Um, okay. No, so I, I don't know. I wanted to track it. I wanted the data to track. You should I read the Breath CPAP too, actually. I think you'd enjoy this book as well, uh, Jeff. I, I noticed that you told Stacy to stay healthy and read the book, but you didn't tell no, me. No, no, you would now. love it. Well, I figured you'd listen. <laughs> this blurb is hilarious. If you breathe, you need this book. So there you go. Okay. Anybody here not breathing? That's it's how you mark it. It's really it. good. I like it. <laughs>